Also in the news tonight, is Santa Claus real and what does he look like? Hide the kids, mom and dad, spoiler alert. Apparently, we ignited quite a controversy the other night in a segment about an essay that argues Santa should no longer be portrayed as a white man. The African-American author of the piece, Aisha Harris, was upset about the commercial depiction of Santa Claus as white and argued that a, quote, fat, old white man who is, quote, melanin deficient made her feel ashamed as a child, thus necessitating an image makeover. In kicking off the lighthearted segment, I offered a tongue-in-cheek message for any kids watching saying that Santa who I joked is a real person whose race is identifiable, is white, just as Harris claimed in her piece, but that we were debating whether that should somehow change. So in Slate, they have a piece uh, on .com, Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. And when I saw this headline, I kind of laughed and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa, you know? And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that, that maybe we should, we should also have a black Santa. But you know, Santa is what he is. And just so you know, we're just debating this because someone wrote about it, kids. Okay, I wanted to get that straight. But Jedediah, when I read the piece, the author seems to have, you know, she's African American, and she yeah. seems to have real pain at having grown up with this image of a white Santa, and she speaks about it kind of honestly, saying, I, I didn't really understand why yeah. that had to be. I realize that the piece by Harris, which went on to argue that Santa should be a penguin, was also tongue in cheek. That's in part why we covered the story in the first place. Humor is a part of what we try to bring to this show, but sometimes that is lost on the humorless. Cue the firestorm of controversy over my declaring Santa's skin color. Many questioning whether I understand that Santa is a mythical figure. Others suggesting I am a racist who is outraged at the idea of a black Santa. All right, this is a, everybody's waiting for the segment. So grab your popcorn. Turn the volume up in your office, close the door, sit down, here we go. If you thought Santa Claus or Jesus Christ were anything other than white, Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly wants you to know you are wrong. Kelly says both were white, and that's a fact. I think if we're trying to err on the side of inclusivity, then definitely Penguin Santa makes sense. But to get outraged at the, at the idea that there are non-white Santas is ridiculous, because I guarantee you right now that if you were to walk into the home of an African-American person, almost anywhere in the country, you would find a black Santa Claus and black angels and a black Jesus. <laughs> I think that's probably what bothered me the most about it was the way that, that Kelly and, and the others kind of were, she said it just so angrily. It, it, it kind of sunk into me. It, it felt like you're insisting that this not real figure it must be white. Right. <laughs> All fictional people are white. It's in the Bible. Santa just is white. Like Christmas. It's white Christmas. And by the way, what kids are watching Fox News at home? <laughs> Weird kids are those. Megan, good luck tonight. We're back in a moment. Outraged? Well, this would be funny if it were not so telling about our society, in particular the knee-jerk instinct by so many to race bait and to assume the worst in people, especially people employed by the very powerful Fox News Channel. Contrary to what my critics have posited, neither my statement nor Harris's, I'm sure, was motivated by any racial fear or loathing. In fact, it was something far less sinister, a lifetime of exposure to the very same, quote, commercials, mall casting calls, and movies Harris references in her piece. From Miracle on 34th Street to the Thanksgiving Day Parade to the National Christmas Tree Lighting, we continually see St. Nick as a white man in modern day America. Should that change? Well, that debate got lost because so many couldn't get past the fact that I acknowledged, as Harris did, that the most commonly depicted image of Santa does in fact